Welcome to day six of our What to Watch Advent Calendar. For the next 31 days, I will reveal one movie, TV show, or holiday special. Yesterday, we revealed White Christmas from Black Mirror. Now, I don't know what's behind these 31 doors, but my lovely girlfriend has put together either a movie or TV poster behind each of these doors. Once they are revealed, we will discuss if they're worth the watch this holiday season. And if I haven't seen what's selected, I'll react to it with the trailer. Let's get started. Alright, day six. Let's see what we got here. Ah, L. <laughs> I'm curious. This might be a hot take. I'm curious. Is this movie overrated? I personally don't have a huge connection to this movie. I saw this movie when I was in high school, so I was a little bit old to be watching this, in my opinion. Uh, I didn't think it was, like, terrible, but I was sort of like kind of corny kind of cheesy which is what you expect from a christmas movie right but i don't know i was like it didn't move me the way that i thought it would i thought i was gonna be like wow i gotta watch this every year um and then we, we usually do watch it every other year or something like that but i don't know i feel like this movie gets a lot of cred but really i'm like it's it's good it's good but i don't know it, it is a classic to a lot of people i need to know in the comments what you guys think here's the description Buddy, Will Ferrell, was accidentally transported to the North Pole as a toddler and raised to adulthood among Santa's elves. Unable to shake the feeling that he doesn't fit in, the adult Buddy travels to New York in a full elf uniform in search of his real father. After DNA test proves they're related, Walter reluctantly attempts to start a relationship with the childlike Buddy with increasingly chaotic results. Here's my description. Buddy the elf was raised on the North Pole, doesn't fit in because he's not an elf, goes back to New York, his father is this Grinch type character who everyone's like, eh, this guy. He's trying to write a children's book, but obviously, like I said, he's a Grinch, doesn't really have that juice. Buddy the Elf is very much like a child, like everyone else on the North Pole, so he doesn't really fit in. This is directed by Jon Favreau, the big Marvel guy. What I can say is the cast of this does hit. You got Will Ferrell, James Caan, Zoe Deschanel, Jon Favreau, Peter Dinklage, it does have a really good cast. And I'm a sucker for settings, and I think the settings for this is amazing. They really make New York look like it's not disgusting. All right, maybe I was being a little too harsh in the beginning. I do think this is worth the watch. It is a classic, it is fun, but I just think personally, maybe I just watched it a little bit too old. I could see if I started watching this as I was younger, I'd be like, man, Elf, love it. I gotta like, you know, like, cause I love the Grinch. So it's sort of the same way. So for those of you with kids, or if you are a kid watching this, I would say you should check out Elf. This is a really funny, great movie. What's nice about this time of the year, you can find a drive-in theater. Sometimes in the movie theaters, they re-release it because people love it that much and I think watching these type of movies with a big crowd or young kids it's always fun like I don't know when I go to the movie theaters and you see little kids laughing at these stupid jokes ah, like it just makes everything just seem a lot more funny all right that's gonna do it let me know in the comments is this in your holiday rotation have you seen this before if you haven't seen this before why haven't you remember everyone is allowed to have their own opinion in the comment section so be kind to one another it's christmas time you should be kind to each other honestly all year long that's gonna do it for this video i'll see you tomorrow and remember just be you peace <laughs>